Okay, here's a quick video. I'm doing a rebuild on a fuel pump. This one fits on a six cylinder Mariner Mercury uh, old tower of power inline six, and there's not a whole lot of information on this particular type. But the rebuild kit consists of uh, your diaphragm, your two gaskets, and another gasket. Uh, there's an old ring. Uh, not much to it. So most of the time when these things fail, it's going to be because of that diaphragm right there. Okay. This up here is the fuel chamber. Uh, this is where the fuel goes, and it's you don't want any fuel to get down below this into the air section of it, the pressure, air pressure section. So this, this whole chamber fills up with all, uh, gas fuel when you pump your primer and it'll go from here through that check valve. It's a one-way, two-way check valve. It only lets fuel in. It won't let it out on your carburetor on the other side. And the rest of it here is your air pressure. <coughs> it comes from a cylinder. you got two ports over here on your base, so you've got uh, alternating uh, suction and pressure. Coming up here into this uh, air manifold here, and so the air will travel up through. Okay, everything's got to be separated by gaskets because you don't want any air escaping, and you don't want any fuel escaping, and you don't want fuel or air <coughs> get mixed together. So basically, it comes up and it comes out here on this manifold up against the diaphragm, and on the pressure side, it'll push that diaphragm up into this bladder and compress, put pressure on this fuel and push it out the other side the discharge uh, onto your carburetors. Okay, uh, so this has got a uh, check valve here. Things are pretty easy to check. You can put your thumb down in here, cover a hole, and you can blow into this and you should be able to blow from here out this check valve and at the same time sucking on it you should not be able to suck any air out okay if it, if it does that then that check valve is good so it's a pretty simple operation it just pumps fuel right here on your carburetors uh, higher the RPM it goes of course that blood that uh, diaphragm is really going to be getting it against this spring the spring is to assist on the suction pressure, which isn't as strong as the positive pressure. So it'll push down this diaphragm and help it when the suction is coming up through these ports from that cylinder. And that's just an assist on it. Uh, you don't need an assist on the positive side because it blows harder than it pulls. Uh, you, can, you can tell this easily just by putting your, all your fingers up to your mouth. Uh, blow on it, you can feel the air pretty strongly blowing. You, uh, suck in, breathe in, and you're probably not going to feel anything. So it's kind of the same thing. That's why you need that assist. So then you just put this whole thing together. You want to make sure there's no dirt, no rust anywhere that can get in because this thing is really getting it. High RPM, you don't want any foreign particles blowing a hole in that diaphragm. Uh, the diaphragm I took out looked fine but it's like it I don't know it's, it got stiff and it wasn't really pulsing like it's supposed to that's kind of what I'm hoping anyway I'll find out later you know when you put this thing together you have to be careful uh, you want it all to fit snugly together because it's, it's can be not the easiest thing to do because you got this spring which is always kind of pushing it kind of cattywampered one way or another so it's sort of hard to get those bolts in and get all this stuff flush back together. Uh, I put some gun oil on these bolts and in these holes where the bolts were slipping easier, <coughs> easier, get everything lined up. Just take your time, get it all snug together. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with some gaskets for this base plate. Okay, it looks like, well, I could use any gasket but it doesn't fit flat on. It's just got like two little things that come up. So I'm kind of messing around with uh, 
Oh, some old rings and stuff. Because <coughs> I'll have to uh, get away to seal that. And so that's all there is to it. These kits are about $10, so not much to them. I'll put it on the boat seating when it cools off and uh, see how it works.